Have you ever wanted to retry the world in Hearts of Iron? Maybe you wanted to make World War I borders in World War II. Or maybe you wanted to form the Roman Empire from the get-go. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the borders in Hearts of Iron 4 to whatever liking you want. So let's get started with that. So before you even start the game, first what we're going to want to do is download some mods. The main one being Tool Pack without the errors. I can't tell you enough how much this has saved me with time in making video ideas or just customizing maps. It makes it way easier than using console commands to just do everything. It's way easier. And if you want to colorize the countries to whatever liking you want, I use colorize your country. It may be out of date, but it still works for modern editions of the game. So that should be fine. Now, when you go into the game, there's this custom game real setting right here. And what you want to do is just go around, see if you have anything in mind for what you want to do if you're just doing an ai only game or just doing whatever and one of the videos that i made where i released all the countries in the world and see what they did the main thing i did was went to the game setup rule and you can just go down this whole list and you can just release all the nations like germany over here has germany fragmented you can turn that on or back the nordics you get the idea and some countries here even have a unique focus of just having the 11th of november borders the same thing with polynesia so you can mess around any way you like with those settings all right so now that i've completed with having everything decolonized we'll just apply the effects and then you could just pick any country you want i'll pick switzerland and then just load up the game all right so now that i've loaded into the game you can see that this whole world is just well a a mess it's disgusting but let's say you want to change the borders around a bit it's not quite to your liking let's say oh i want prussia to have more land well what you can do is with the tool pack without the errors mod there's this little arrow over here in the corner you can click it and a menu pops up and what we're gonna do is just you could rather use the annexing tool if you want to get rid of a whole country and annex to another nation or if you just want to take specific states and give it to another nation we're gonna click here the state managing tool so now what you can do you can move it however you want i like it having organized like this so it's like a little stacking grid here but let's say right here sicilia whatever it's Cilicia, i don't know how you pronounce it you want to annex it to prussia right what you can do is go over to the top right here press annexing if you want to give it cores their army the navy and even core them you can click on all of those and then you can mark the country and then whatever country you want to give Give that land to let's say prussia here you click on a state that they own and then you go back here and this is now highlighted and after that you can just click it and there it goes right to prussia now let's say oh i don't want to have poland be eaten completely but i want to give them their imperial borders well here's how to do that what you want to do is click on whatever state you want you're going to go over here mark state and then do that for every state that you want to add to that nation so now that i've done that what we'll do is we'll go back to pressure click anywhere you want under pressure and then right over here transfer ownership we'll click that and there you go now if you want to core all this lands what you can do i like to just make it easy on myself i'll just do mark all states and then add cores and then it will give all the cores for that country and also with this mod you can make it easier to do formables by just doing the same thing that i did with annexing other countries just have them annex it like latvia over here then we can go over here to the decisions unify the baltics and what bam the baltic assembly and i only Almost forgot one more thing the paint mod over here colorize your country what you do is just click on it and then you could just click on whatever country let's say you want germany to be i don't know gray you even have different options here for what you want there's even different german grays here already so let's say you want number one that's the base game one number two that's the monarchist one and number three that's more of the greater german reich formable color and also you can go to some special styles and like here you could see that you could form any country that is at least in this list here there's not every formable nations here but let's say you want to form some random country like i don't know an ottoman empire germany you click on that and there you go the grand ottoman sovereignty they even get the funny little flag for it too and that's basically it for a basic guide on how to edit the map and customize it to however you like and i did get some comments on that video where i released every nation on how I did it but I did use 
of the 56 and i'll do a little bit more of an in-depth way of showing how i did that in the next part so let's head on over there all right so here we are in road to 56 also the discarding edition which adds a little bit more flavor to road to 56 and basically what we'll do is just do the same thing as last time just like last time you have everything decolonized or whatever and even here there's a lot more options you can do so once you do that just pick whatever i'll pick switzerland and just start the game all right so now that we're in we can see the world as well decolonized again but there's just one problem people keep saying how do you get it to look like that many release stations got released i can't do it and yeah because like if you do i mean italy's still there and i told them to go fragmented but they didn't so what we're gonna do is pull up that menu again then what we're actually gonna do is go to the next page and then we're gonna click on the country release tool and then click wherever you want to release a nation that has a core for an example if you click on rome they have the papal states as a core and if you go back to this little pop-up over here we have the papal states that you can release so what we'll do is we'll so click on it and there they are and you can do that to all the cores that they have and they are now bigger but as we're releasing all these countries for italy we'll go over here to piedmont and oh, they don't have a core that's not right they should have it they have it in base game why don't they have it here i don't know but there's a way to fix this and unfortunately it's by using console commands which isn't all bad but the way to access it is by pressing tilde and we're gonna type in the first one that we're gonna use is t debug and the reason why we need that is to see what state id it is so now that we know it's state id 158 we'll keep that in mind and we'll go on to the next part all right so we're here at the steam page and i have hearts of iron over here and what we're going to want to do to make sure that we can get back the states that are hidden in those code and files we're going to do is hit properties and then this thing's going to pop up then we're going to go to installed files and then browse once we do that we have this file that opens up and pay attention here it can get a little crazy here but we're going to click on common then we're going to go all the way down until we see country tags so we're going to click on that and right here we have two files we have zero zero countries and zz dynamic countries don't worry about that that doesn't matter what we're going to want to do is check what country tags are what so we're going to double click open that and what will pop up is the country tags right here these are all the country tags in the game even the right commissariats the new indian kingdoms here some of the american native countries and whatever you're looking for should be here so what we're trying to find is sardinia piedmonte and there they are spm keep this in mind so now we're back in hearts of iron and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look back into here see that the state id is 158 but what we're gonna do is go into console commands type in add underscore core then we're gonna type in the state id 158 and then the country tag of spm and just like that sardinia piedmonte is now cored and if we want to release the country it doesn't show up the first time but what you're gonna do is just Press this little refresh button we'll click it and there it is so we'll do that and there they are back on the map so basically that is what i did for most of the countries that you couldn't find in the game i looked up in the game files of whatever it was i added them back in if they were hidden and that was really it it's not an easy process but you know that's what it takes to do these videos and after adding all the countries back into the game after the update that they had we're back to having the released nation world and also to to know when you're making this map in road to 56 there are some countries that are different in base game than in road to 56 for the country tags all i did is just type in road to 56 country tags into google or something and all the information is there with whatever countries they have in that mod so with that everybody that's gonna do it for today's tutorial video i don't really make these much or ever i just thought with other comments i was getting i try to help out people and better understand on how to make it and have people have fun with whatever creations they want to change to hearts of iron and also just a little side note the paint mod does not work in murder 56 the scaredian edition i don't know why but it just doesn't but i hope you guys find this tutorial helpful and interesting and i hope you guys make some interesting maps for whatever you want to play as none other than that i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye